Greetings! In today's video, I'll be taking a look at this set from the Roman Schmal Aquarius Watercolor range. Now, this is their travel set in a metal box. Now, I only kept the sleeve for this one too because it's a set that I've had for a while and I didn't keep the bottom tray so that I can store this up and it doesn't take as much space. This is what we have. These are the colors included in the set. We will take a closer look at them a bit later. This was the first set they released with half pans and a smaller metal tin, so I remember being really excited to see this set being available. And let's go ahead and see what's in this tin. It came in this plastic bag that I kept and also came with a swatch card that I've already painted. Because like I said, I've had this set for a bit now. So we get these beautiful colors in this set. We will take a closer look at them later. This is what the palette looks like at the moment. As you can see, it's been used a fair bit. But I'll set up a page in my sketchbook with swatches and drawings and I will paint something fresh and then we will be able to talk about my thoughts and impression on this set. So see ya in a bit. And I'm back with my palette and my completed swatches and demo. This is the palette right now. And this is the spread that I painted for this set. So looking at the swatches first, we get one yellow, Aquarius yellow, we get Pyrrhal Scarlet, Aquarius Red, Mineral Violet, French Ultramarine, Phthalo Blue Red Shade, Sap Green Light, Aquarius Green, Venetian Yellow Earth, Burnt Sienna Monte Amiata, Caput Mortem, and Cypress Burnt Umber Deep. On its own, this palette is a bit less versatile than the Urban Sketching palette. You don't really get as good of a magenta, and that can make it a bit tricky to mix certain colors. Another thing that I've noticed with this palette is that I couldn't quite mix a neutral dark color. I was able to get a lot of, of grays, but it was a bit of a struggle every time to get the right balance to get a dark gray almost black color. Again, this palette was a lot of fun to use. The paints are super well behaved. That's the standard from Roman Schmal. So easy to rewet, easy to put on the paper, they layer really well. They don't do anything weird, unexpected, annoying. None of that. It is still a really nice color selection. You get, well, the one yellow, then a warm and a cooler red, a purple, and then you get French ultramarine and phthalo blue. So you're warm and cool blue. The two greens are the same, I think, as the other 12 half pan set Roman Schmal has, the urban sketching set. And then we get, again, four earth tones with varying levels of intensity. The Caput Mortem is quite intense. The Venetian Yellow Earth is weaker. You get some opaque colors, like Caput Mortem is a bit more opaque. French Altarine is also a bit more opaque. So you can really play with your texture and the opacity of your paints in this set. I was also able to get a bit of granulation in these area, mostly from the Burnt Umber and the French Ultramarine. If you're looking for the most versatile set, I think the Urban Sketching might be more of a good choice for you. This set is still really, really good, but coming from the idea of being able to mix just about any and every color, the fact that this set doesn't really have a cyan, turquoise color or a magenta is a bit problematic because these two colors, you can't mix them from other colors. You have to have these specific colors from the start. So that's about it for my impressions of this set. There isn't much to say. The paints are good, they behave well, they're fun to use, the colors are nice, they have a good intensity depending on the pigment, and it's a really lovely set. So I don't have much to say in those cases. It's good. <laughs> what do you think of this set? What do you think of this color lineup? Please let me know in the comments below. I'm always interested to read your thoughts. And again, thank you so much for watching this video. See you all in the next one. Bye bye.